Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings to each and every one. Just a check in. Come give you guys, you know, some updates. Hope everybody been blessed. Stay blessed as always. First time over the Just Blex TV, just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell all. You're not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, for those going out there on the street, are out there on the street already. Schooling, working, hustling with us, ask the Almighty to protect the item. In the meantime, look out on the item. So, man shot in Larristan, Spanish town. That are going and what are going right now around Just Blex. The Spanish town police are probing a gun attack on a man in his home in the community of Larristan early yesterday morning. So, residents reported hearing explosions coming from the man's house around 12.07 a.m. Checks made revealed that the man was suffering from wounds to his upper body and head. The police were contacted. Right, my people. So, right, this is so far. Like him in a hospital, you know, but we just hope for the best. Yeah, man, hope for the best. Jaja. So, peeps, motorcyclist killed, pillion rider wounded in Hanover gun attack. So, a motorcyclist is dead and is 13 year old pillion rider in hospital with bullet wounds following an attack by a group of motorcyclists in Salt Spring Hanover on the weekend. The deceased has been identified as 19 year old Keith Myrie, otherwise called Junior, of Green Island in the parish. Well, this is from TVJ. Mr. Salt Spring. That not the Amobie, all this uh, Hanover. TVJ, this, you know. I know Salt Spring in, a, in, a, in a St. James. Peeps, you know, you know comment. I know what I'm going TVJ do this. So, peeps, man, shot and kill. Yes, my people. Brawling. Yes, at Whitehall Avenue. And it's also captured. And CCTV. Right, my people? Yes, so, the, 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 the video saying that, you know, yeah, men jump out a car, run him down, and fool him up a gunshot. A woman, you know, in her car, see the plea and peeps. Woman jump out her car, you know, <laughs> run, run away, left that, you know. <laughs> Moving over, peeps, to where class is suspended at Cornwall College following Spanish teachers' death. So students, teachers, and auxiliary staff at Cornwall College in St. James are now in mourning following the death of Kamika Warren, a senior Spanish teacher and head of her department. Warren, who was 41 years old, died while being treated at hospital on Sunday. Classes were suspended on Monday while grief counseling was provided for academic and auxiliary staff inside the school's chapel, led by guidance counselors and supported by the Ministry of Education and Youth Charma Team. Right, and just as a condolences goes out to the family, friends, and loved ones, you know. Yeah, man, of Kamika, Warren. Yeah, man, head, Spanish teacher. Jaja, we just as a right now, yeah, me today, yeah, there, tomorrow, you're yeah, gone. Just give thanks and praise every day when you woke up. Yeah, man, as you wake, man, just give thanks. So, peeps, police probing death of American tourists in St. Anne. The St. Anne police are probing the circumstances which led to the death of an American tourist on a Sunday. So, Joan Grosia Tomlinson, yeah, Tomlinson, a 61-year-old administrative assistant of Atlanta, Georgia, died Sunday, two days after complaining of a stomach ache. When them the poison, the, 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 the American citizen, Jaja, this looks serious. Need for no more go on. So, peeps, this female shot and killed. Yes, my people. At where you say at on Scarlet Road in March Pen, Saint Catherine. Right, my people. So, trust me, them full up our head. Yeah, man, be a gunshot to the head. So she's only identified as Opal so far. Right, my people. So you don't know me not get the full measurement for my really go on. But me just can tell you guys that uh, Opal. Yeah, man, shot and kill man. March Pen. Yes, St. Catherine. Right, my people? Yeah, man, then load up our head star. And we don't know what the female them are doing nowadays are with them do. But the man them not play with them. Them and the pitney, them and the yellow, them, the man them not play with them. We don't know what really are going But peeps, man dies after being hit by truck in St. Thomas. 
So a man died after he was run over by a truck in St. Thomas on the weekend. The deceased has not yet been identified. So according to the police, about 4.25 on Sunday morning, a market truck was returning from Kingston when on reaching a section of the Belvedere Main Road. The man walked into the path of the vehicle and was hit. Alright my people? So I don't go on with that man and right now I know they can identify him. So just as a right now when I hear him start, it happened in a center mass. Yes, so the people they need to go search and know where I go on. If I one of them family members, one of them friends or uh, whosoever, but why I hear him start just a... Uh, Happening in Jamaica. So Ivan is right. Yes, my people. Anyway, yeah, man, she's in jail. Right? And she, you know, reason for bookings, terroristic threats and acts. So criminal damage to property, second degree damage greater than $500. Yeah, peeps. So right, this one now. Yeah, you hear me start. This is a girl. I'm not telling you, you know. I had chips still, you know. Yeah, man. I am just worry about ice, you know. Yeah, man, I look a baby. We were born recently. But I just say right now, Ivan, it come like more, she move like she did on crack. You know, she do some things more while you have really wonder. But I hope the best for her still. Moving over, 17 year old faces multiple charges in fatal shooting on Chance Relay in Kingston. So 17 year old boy is facing multiple charges in connection with the shooting death of a 36 year old Damian Palmer. On Chance Relay in Kingston on March 12, the teenager has been charged with murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and using a firearm to commit a felony. Police report that around 12:50 p.m., Palmer was standing with a group of friends along the roadway when the teenager, yeah, man, just who opened gunshot on a group of, on a group of persons. So Palmer was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police say following investigative leads, the teenager was charged while in custody for another crime. His court date is being arranged. Jaja, yeah, yeah, we're going. So police say following investigative leads, you know, the teenager was charged, you know, for us a different crime. So this man is a real crime boss, 17 year old, you know, for learning a trade or plant up the field, you know. Moving over, 45 year old taxi operator Nigel Johnson has been missing since Wednesday, March 27th. Anyone knowing his whereabouts is being asked to contact the Darling Street Police 119 emergency or the nearest police station. Right? Yes. So, Nigel Johnson missing from March 27th, you know, peeps. Janu, we still have to hope the best. Moving over, Lorian Patrice Miller. Lorian Patrice Miller, 15 year old of Charles Stone, Sentence Bay address, has been missing since last week, Thursday. So, if seen, please call the Sentence, Sentence Bay Police 119 emergency or the nearest police station. I would just have to hope for the best for this 15 year old female return home safe because, boy. The man get bleak, you know what it is. So curfew imposed in St. Elizabeth. A 48 hour curfew has been imposed in sections of Vineyard Community St. Elizabeth. The curfew began at 6 o'clock p.m. on Monday, April 8, and will remain in effective until 6 o'clock p.m. Wednesday, April 10. The boundaries of the curfew are north from intersection of Outer Road and Mango Walk, traveling easterly along an imaginary line bordering right side of road, Outer Road to Vineyard Baptist Church on the right, with a dirt road and left of church running southerly. So east from Vineyard Baptist Church using dirt road travel south early to the end of dirt road focusing on houses to the right. Right? So south from an imaginary line along houses bordering Dougal Road, west Dougal Road to intersection of Outer Road and Mango Walk. Right, my people? And this is in St. Elizabeth. So just no one go on. Yeah, my people. And then we just move over to where curfew imposed in Green Island and over. Yes, so the boundaries of the curfew in Green Island are north, north at Arton along the Green Island Main Road to the Lobster Smokehouse, east along the imaginary line from Lobster Smokehouse to Bacadia Community, south along the Bacadia Main Road to the Salt Spring Road roundabout, west from the Salt Spring roundabout to Arton. So peeps, Salt Spring really in Hanover. This is what I want. Oh, I go on. That means, sir, it can be a green island. 
green pan and come like boy yeah you know that St. James and over there mix up you know moving over there peeps we are judge the night's bail for music producer Linval Shabdan Thompson Jr. and co accused right my people you know say the man they deny bail for the triple murder what happened in a 2022 where two male and a female shot and killed in St. James right so peeps yeah man went to court on Friday you don't know bail deny so just as a right now for you do the crime if you just do the time you know me don't care who you you know yeah man you could have been my father and my brother for you do the crime just prepare for do the time yes right yeah man that i go on i would just go move over to where Lowe's lead parliament gets new clerk so it's a new high for miss low attorney colleen low has been elevated to clerk to the houses of parliament effectively you know yeah, Diego. So her appointment follows the retirement of Valerie Curtis. Right? So peeps, I that I go on pan what I go on. Yeah, so you don't know what I go on. Then she bought Valerie and them uh, <laughs> work with Low. So peeps, I have a look at one video to share with you guys. A man, you know, I talk about Sir P right now. A big up Sir P, you know. Anyway, my people, you don't know the whole measurement. Yeah, you know, him respect the vlogging where Sir P do and things. So anyway, just watch a look at clipping. Share on the comments in the section below. I don't know me do enough talking to you know. A time now for me go cool now and ease off your sight. So peeps, you don't know just share your comments in the section below. Come in one of you guys don't ugly like John Crow. And just look out on the eyes because the young piranha, yeah man, and old chink them out there in you know, bundles. So up that blessings. I know Jamaica can be a beacon of hope that everyone can enjoy. So people in my humble opinion and observation, I believe Sir P from Politics Watch should be the next leader of Jamaica. And Sir P, if you're out there and listening to me, I know I don't really have much impact or sway, but it's something for you to think about. I believe you can start a new political party and the rest of Jamaicans especially the bloggers can push this new party and make you become the next prime minister of our beautiful island sir p i endorse you and i support you to become the next prime minister of jamaica And them for no side, your IMEDs, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior works. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?